you can actually download the free trial. I'm gonna use it side by side, comparing documents and overlaying pages. From here, guys, I'm inserting. So insert the page, and in tools, we're gonna to find markup, doing some call offs. I'm adding the drawing. The document is ready, guys. Don't forget to flatten it. We're gonna put there in our toolbox chest. So guys, uh, before I start, actually, I'm gonna jump into Bluebeam uh, and I'm gonna start showing you the basic things today. I just wanna show you here the, the Bluebeam page. It's bluebeam.com. I'm gonna leave the link below. And uh, what's good about it, you can actually download the free trial. I think it's for 30 uh, days. Uh, let's click it anyway. Yeah, it's 30 day trial here. But what I would actually recommend you guys, maybe after my video number four, uh, just jump in here, download this and uh, try wherever I was showing. And plus, obviously you're gonna try wherever you can really, and then you can master uh, the Bluebeam yourself. And that's gonna be very useful when you're gonna be later on site. So uh, let's go now, jump uh, into the Bluebeam and I'm gonna start showing you what it's all about. So guys, uh, that's how the Bluebeam looks. When, when you turn it on, really, uh, I'm gonna open some PDF, maybe uh, Control O for it. Uh, I'm gonna open a column schedule here. Obviously you can open your uh, PDF just from the desktop really. So I got my uh, column schedule here. Uh, I'm gonna open maybe two more drawings, concrete slab and the paving uh, as I'm gonna be showing you maybe on these three drawings, maybe a little bit more. I'm gonna show you uh, the basic function. So that's uh, our PDFs are open now. Uh, and I'm gonna go guys uh, quickly through here. So uh, once you're going to press here, review, you can go all about uh, view mode, uh, profiles, you can change the profile. But what I'm going to be showing you guys and in my videos, obviously, I want to focus on what I'm using the most and what you're going to be using the most when working on construction side as an engineer, as a senior engineer, as a civil engineer. But we, we're talking about the working on site now. And uh, as I said, after these few videos, uh, we're going to jump together uh, in the deeper journey and we're going to see how the deep the rabbit hole is in terms of uh, possibilities of Bluebeam. So you can see here, you can create a new PDF here, a uh, new PDF from template, open control. -O, that's what I'm using here. You can create something, uh, close, save as. Obviously, this is the same options everywhere on each PDF uh, editor, each PDF viewer, really. But uh, I want to show you this. So uh, this is very simple. You got an option edit here. So as you can see, you got a pan and select. So once you got, uh, you're going to press V, you can select something. And then uh, when you're editing, then go pan here and you, you can move your PDF, zoom in, zoom out. Obviously, once guys, uh, you're using the mouse here. Uh, if you're going to be pressing the control and moving the reel in and out, that's going to be your zoom in. And uh, I think that's really uh, everywhere. But uh, then you got select all that. So I'm not using it. Snapshot sometimes say I'm using just to send maybe something in the email. So uh, you can go G quickly. Sometimes using the snapshot to cut something in and then paste it into the drawing as well. But I'm gonna show you this in one of the next uh, videos covering the basic stuff about the Bluebeam. And then uh, I'm gonna go jump uh, into the view. And this is quite uh, important here, guys, as this gives you many possibilities uh, how you can view actually your file. And then uh, especially later when you're gonna be creating something, when you're gonna be adding the pages or deleting the pages, you wanna see it a different way. So as you can see here, now I got a continuous pages uh, by, the, by default here, and uh, you got all shortcuts here, so control four, control five, that's gonna bring you straight in the view. So sometimes what I'm using actually, I'm gonna use it side by side, so you can see how it looks. Uh, you got a PDF side by side, and also continuous by side by side, that's what I like to use when I'm working uh, with, the, with the many pages. And sometimes I add in a drawing here and uh, I like to see all here together and zoom in and out. So that's very useful, guys. And then uh, if you're gonna go here, what I'm using as well, guys, and what I what I really recommend you to use sometimes, I'm gonna split vertical. And then uh, actually I can open a different drawing here and I can see, so sometimes quickly to compare something, I'm using this option here. Uh, I'm not overlaying the drawings always. Sometimes I, I open really the two, two drawings, maybe even uh, all the revision and the new revision, and I'm checking, double checking quickly what really changes. What you can find on some sites, guys, uh, some changes gonna be clouded, but some changes is not gonna be clouded, which is uh, done by designer, this is a mistake, or maybe on purpose sometimes, I don't wanna say anything, but uh, you, need to, you need to keep an eye on it, and uh, you need to keep an eye on every every change really, as there won't be excuse later that uh, it wasn't clouded, so it, it's not changed. So sometimes I use this split vertical, very good option uh, uh, as we're talking about the view here. We're gonna be definitely uh, using comparing documents and overlaying pages, and overlaying pages is very important. But guys, uh, in the last video, what I'm gonna do, I'm actually take a real life job here. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a few drawings, we're gonna raise few RFIs, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do few markups, you're gonna take area measurements and all the stuff, so just wait for it, but I wanna go there step by step, so we're gonna know exactly what we 
doing. And then from the view options, guys, uh, the, the very important thing is here, uh, snap content. And as you can see here, uh, I, got the, I got it on. So this is all on by default, snap to content. When we're going to be measuring, when we're going to be uh, drawing some lines, wherever we're going to use it, uh, I'm going to show you maybe just quickly, I'm going to draw, draw the line. You can see here, uh, there is a small like square showing. It's very similar to AutoCAD, but it's, it's actually catching the, the crossing. So it's very, very good, guys. Uh, I got it on all the time anyway. And whatever I'm doing the marking, uh, this is very useful. Uh, snap to markup, snap to grid. You can show grid, so you can turn on grid as well. Uh, you can see the. Uh, you can see it now. Maybe I close this one. Now we don't need it. So the grid. I'm not using it typically, guys. Uh, I'm go I'm on a focus. What what you're going to be using on site when operating as a site engineer, as a civil engineer, senior engineer as well. So I'm going to turn it uh, off now. I don't need the grid. And I'm going to jump, guys, now uh, into the do document here. It's got a page setup, rotate page, all the stuff. And what I'm using uh, from here, guys, I'm inserting. So insert the page, uh, pages from document, so you can actually insert it and going to ask us from where we want to bring the page. So I'm going to go add, maybe I'm going to add the slab here to this drawing here. So I'm going to open it. Uh, I'm going to press OK now. And uh, you see here that on, on the paving page, this one. So once I'm going to go back here quickly, uh, when I show you the view of the side by side, you can see now that's the two drawings now. So I added this one. So it's very, very, very useful thing as well. Uh, I'm always uh, doing this. And especially when I'm doing some call offs, I'm adding the drawing into the call off and sometimes extracting the pages from the call off and adding some pages as well. So I got the uh, replace pages. Uh, I never use it to be honest. I just delete and bring another one. So that might be useful as well. Crop pages, all this stuff from here. I'll be, that, that will be all guys. Uh, obviously we're gonna go deeper into this uh, when we're gonna be moving on and on. And uh, what I'm using uh, from here as well, I'm going to use the flatten document, flatten and flatten. So once my document is ready, guys, don't forget to flatten it and then send it. Uh, the really good thing about it, this is a ready PDF then, so no one's going to be moving your markups and all the stuff. And especially the most important thing about it, it's not going to weigh so much. So the file can be sent later. It's not going to be so huge that you cannot really send it in the email and all this stuff. So that's actually shrinking the, the amount of uh, kilobytes or megabytes. You've got a batch here, uh, crop pages, rotate pages, headers, footers. Uh, I'm not using it really, guys. Uh, we just want to check the drawings. We're doing the markups. We're going to some, ask some questions when sending RFIs. So I would actually, guys, uh, leave this. Uh, it's not really much here to show. Uh, and now we're going to jump into the most important thing, guys, which is tools. And in tools, we're going to find markup. And uh, once you're going to jump in markup here, you're going to see we got all the markups here with the abbreviation. You're going to be using some abbreviation definitely as well. The RO text was AT and it, it's very, very easy to use. So you can see here a uh, text box. You got a typewriter. I'm not using this. I'm not using pen too much, but you got the line here. You got the arrow. So once you want to show something, you're going to press A and we're going to do the arrow. And then you got the R polyline, rectangle. And uh, I mostly use a rectangle and polygon really in terms of markups and all the stuff. And cloud, if you want to change something cloud, I'm not using it. We are we, we typically asking the questions. So uh, once we're going to go quickly here, we just we just press A for arrow and then T for text, for instance, and we're going to ask something. But this guys, uh, I'm going to cover in the next video anyway, when we're going to be setting our tools. And uh, what the great thing is about the Bluebeam here, once you're going to be using your tools and once you're going to set your stuff, wherever the way you want it, whatever settings you're going to put, we're going to be creating our toolbox and uh, the most used uh, options, guys, we're going to put there in our toolbox chest and then pressing one, two, three, four, five, wherever you're going to pick, you're going to see how easy it is, how great it is. Uh, so in tools as well, uh, we got a stamp. Uh, I, I'm not using it. Uh, we got, you see, approved, uh, date, whatever. It might be useful maybe for architects or for some uh, M&E engineers when it's the latest drawing something, uh, it's approved coming back from the designer. It's very, it's very good as well. And we got a measure here, but measure, it's, it, that's I think the, the greatest thing about the Bluebeam really, you got this measure option here and all the calibration, all the scaling. But this I'm gonna cover in one of the next videos as this is gonna be the biggest one here. But you can see you got the length, poly length, area, perimeter, all this stuff we need really when we're gonna be doing some takeoffs. Uh, we're going to be measuring uh, how much concrete we need and all this stuff. And uh, we got a sketch to scale. I'm, I'm, I'm not using the sketching uh, too much, really. Form, signature, it's, uh, it's not used much by me personally. And then uh, toolbars here, status, alignment, all this stuff. But as I said, guys, that's going to be all video covering uh, the markups and the measure separately. So guys, just quickly here on an interface, you're going to see here, we got the measurements here. And uh, as I said, we're going to go all through it step by step. So measurements here, uh, we got the recent files open. Uh, what's interesting here, uh, we got this is here our 
my tools. So that's going to be our uh, toolbox chest here. Chest box with our tools and the uh, settings. When are we going to be doing settings, whatever options we're using, guys. But I think that will be all in today's video. You just see the interface, you know, how to download maybe, but wait with that download a little bit till I'm going to cover a little bit more about it. You see the interface, it's very user friendly, guys. It's very easy to use. You're going to see yourself once you're going to download it and start using, uh, you're going to get some drawings and you're going to start doing uh, magic things with them uh, once we're going to start overlaying and all the stuff guys so guys uh, if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave the thumbs up uh, leave some comments as well uh, if you got any questions obviously i'm going to reply as soon as possible and if you know maybe about some other pdf editor which is very good for us engineers let me know please in the comments we're going to double check this as well but uh, so far for me this is the best one really and uh, that's the one we want to use so guys as i said uh, thank you again for watching uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to grow community of engineers here to help each other and uh, for yourself to get more information and prepare yourself for construction please follow my linkedin page as well as you're going to find some information there and the soon you're going to be able to download some stuff but for now, guys, uh, I'm going to be sending this uh, to the emails. Uh, as I said before, uh, if you're going to send the email on the siteng.community at gmail.com, I'm going to be sending you whatever I got. And as I said, I'm preparing the drawings. Uh, I got that spreadsheet for the local uh, global grid. So uh, don't hesitate to send me the email and I'm going to send you back the information. So thank you again, guys, and see you next time.